Being a mother of an autistic child is the most challenging thing I ever did. Um, we just had like, which is really short, like a 15 minute meltdown because I removed um, mac and cheese from the microwave. And it's weird because the rigidity of an autistic child is uh, pretty intense. And like, you think, you know, if I just keep giving her the blue bowl, and the pink cup, and the pink fork will be okay. But that's not true. Because what works one day, it's a good chance it's not going to work the next day. And it is her um, diagnosis, but it's a family diagnosis. Every one of us feels it differently. Um, Dad wants to go in protective mode. Mom knows that it's my job to push her limits so she could be the best person she could possibly be. Scarlett acknowledges that she cries a lot. And we just have to keep explaining she's not a bad girl and she's just not she's not mean on purpose, that she just has hard times sometimes. Well when he was autism there's like there's no touching really unless it's on her terms. She's not at all flexible. Um but at school she's fine so then you know the rest of life is fine. But she just threw everything off all the beds and threw two chairs. And this is all because I took <sighs> mac and cheese out of the microwave. And so I think as we approach April, I know you're gonna see all these posts about supporting autism and autistic kids turn into autistic adults which first are autistic teens and that scares the shit out of me um i think we should acknowledge that it's not all puzzle pieces and milestones it's trying to reach those milestones and knowing it's not gonna happen on any one of those terms but theirs and it's accepting the fact that not everything goes as smoothly as planned when you plan it. So when you talk about um, knowing one person with autism, you know only one person with autism. And that one person you know with autism might be different day to day. But as we approach April, um, if we just have more acceptance than than ridiculing or staring if you see a kid that's doing something be don't be afraid to ask the parent because i know i would rather explain why she's doing what she's doing than have people stare and i want people to know that it's not all puzzle pieces and rainbows and sunshine that it's there's a lot of nights like this and it's a lot of challenges you have to overcome. So please be patient with those parents also.